So here we are in section 2.3, numbers 1 through 8. So we're going to solve some review from 2.1. Uh, x divided by negative 6 equals negative 3. We've got to undo that with a times by negative 6. Times by negative 6. These guys, gone. x equals negative 3 times negative 6 is a positive 18. Here we're going to subtract 13.7. Subtract 13.7. And we get negative 3.4t equals, now these are both negative, so they both go in the same direction, so we get a negative 32.6. Divide by a negative 3.4, divide by a negative 3.4, it'll make it positive and stick it into your calculators, and we get t equals 9.59. Good, number 3, negative 17 minus 7m equals negative 18. Uh, we've got to get rid of this guy. But it's not that minus sign, it's this minus sign that makes us have to go with a positive 17. So we get negative 7m equals negative 1. Divide by a negative 7, divide by a negative 7, and we get m equals 1 seventh. Number 4, here we have 3 sevenths t plus 1 equals negative 11. We need to get rid of the addition subtraction ones first, so we subtract 1, subtract 1, and we get 3 sevenths t equals negative 12. So get rid of the 3 sevenths by timesing by 7 thirds on both sides. That's the same thing as dividing by that 3 sevenths. And we end up with t equals, this will cancel a little bit, and left of 4, negative 4 times 7 is a negative 28. Number 5. Um, 3x plus 17, we're going to subtract 17, subtract 17, and we get negative 8 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3, and we get x equals a negative 8 thirds. Number 6, ooh, this has got a, three numbers here, the 5, the 7, and the 4 that we have to get rid of. Let's peel them out off from the outside in. This negative, this four has to go first, so we're going to times both sides by four. And you'll notice it makes it a nice, easier problem. Five x plus seven equals fifty-two. If we subtract seven from both sides, we get five x equals forty-five. Divide both sides by five, and x is nine. And we can run those through back and check them if we need to. Okay, ooh, a big problem here. Let's combine all these t's together. So we have 8t plus 3t is 11t plus 14t. That's really just a 25t minus 17 equals negative 17. Trying to get t by itself, we want to add 17, add 17. Make sure we do it on both sides to keep it balanced. 25t equals 0. 25 times what equals 0? We can divide by 25, divide by 25, and we get t equals 0. And the last one. Ooh, a lot of decimals here, but only two steps. We have to get rid of the 23.7 and the 13.5. Take care of the addition and subtraction first. 13.5. And here we get 108.3 equals 23.7x. So divide by 23.7. Oops. 0.7. Divide by 23.7. And x ends up to equal 4.57. Good.